Well, tonight the Blue Jackets get their first look at the Florida Panthers. And Jody, the last two games have been very frustrating for the Blue Jackets. They went into St. Louis with a tie in the third period, couldn't force it into overtime at the least to get a point. Same thing happened on Tuesday night in Montreal. This is something this team is still trying to learn. Yeah, and, and it's part of the growth of this team. It's unfortunate that they didn't get a point, but boy, were they disappointed. They're going to clean that up, and I think this is a good learning weekend for the past weekend for the Blue Jackets. They've got to learn from it and move into tonight, move on to this new segment. And in both of those games, the Blue Jackets got only one goal. So the offense is something that they're looking for. And Brandon Saad says they just have to stick to the system. I just think uh, we've had some, some opportunities, even last game, where um, me, especially myself, where we a goal or two go in and, and uh, the game's going the other way. So the biggest thing is sticking to our game plan structurally, defensively. Uh, we like where our game's at, only giving up maybe one or two goals and um, just execution offensively. Defense was a problem, it's not now. And it's scoring, and it's the power play. What happened here? Faceoffs was a problem, they got that cleaned up. This team now is focusing on two things, managing the game and scoring goals. Look for this team, you need secondary scoring, but you need that power play to get going here, Bob, especially tonight at home. Absolutely, and Ryan Johansson is part of that, and he says tonight would be a great night for an offensive breakout. And always good for a team's confidence, and and uh, you know, no better way Friday night here at home to, to get a, put a few goals on the board and then head out to Philly and hopefully have a good weekend. And Ryan Johansson said it'd be nice to do tonight, of course. It'd be nice to do any night, but of course at home, here they're facing Al Montoya, the backup goalie for the Panthers, so go at them. The Blue Jackets, if they want to get goals tonight, go with the purpose, and especially in those empty nets, Bob, put those pucks in the empty nets. Well, and this Florida Panthers team is also playing their second game in as many nights. They were in Nashville last night, but they won that game. They have won four straight games coming into this one this evening. And when you look at their roster, they have such balance. They've got youth and they've got experience. And let's start with the youth. Aaron Ekblad on the back end. He was a Calder Trophy winner last year. And then they surround guys like him with players like Willie Mitchell and Yarmir Yager. Yeah, let's start with Yager. He's been in the league forever. You watched him when you were probably two years old in Pittsburgh. He's bringing back the mullet now, and he's just a fun guy to be around. Amazing work ethic and how hard he works at his game. That's why he's still playing. That's why he's still producing, and that's why these young guys are having fun around him. Willie Mitchell, two-time Stanley Cup champion with the Los Angeles Kings, comes here as a free agency. They give him the captaincy for, with the Florida Panthers. And what a great pick, a guy that people just gravitate towards. He's great on the ice. He works to get open for his players, and he's a guy that is taking care of this other guy we're going to talk about, Ekblad. Ekblad lives with Willie Mitchell. And Ekblad is a young kid, you mentioned, best in the league last year for a rookie, top defenseman. He's dangerous, he's a good skater, he's very smart, and he works hard. These three guys, you mentioned it on this page, a lot of veteran, but a little bit of youth. You know, you gave me a great idea for a t-shirt, bringing back the mullet. That would be good. I think you would look good in one, actually. I used to have one, Bob, but I don't think we're going to go there. Oh, How I about you? you no, no. I just got rid of the mustache. I'm not going anywhere <laughs> else anytime soon. All right, that'll do it for tonight's Rink Report. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. Enjoy the game.